Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for another creepy video. Today's video takes us on a journey that looks at photographs just before some form of tragedy struck. The saying, a picture says a thousand words, could be no more true than with our content today. Let's get into it. Number 1. Simon Kunan Simon Kunan was a former Thai Navy SEAL that was volunteering to try and free 12 trapped boys and one adult from the Thame Lang Nang Nan Caves in Thailand. This photo captures Simon as he was about to take oxygen tanks to the trapped kids. He successfully delivered the tanks. Tragically, he ran out of oxygen on his way back to the staging spot that was set up by authorities in attempts to rescue the trapped boys and their coach. On that day, July 5th, 2018, the 38-year-old man gave his life while trying to save others. It is the greatest sacrifice that we as humans could ever give. Simon's memory lives on for his heroic acts on that tragic day. Number 2. Hilda Clayton Hilda Clayton made the decision to serve her country in the Army early in her short life. She became a combat photographer and was sent to Afghanistan to capture pictures for the Army of the conflict that was going on. On that day of July 2, 2013, Clayton was assigned to document the U.S. training of Afghan soldiers. The soldiers were being taught how to properly fire mortar rounds when, tragically, a shell got caught in the tube and exploded. This photograph captures the last split second of the mortar exploding before claiming the life of 22-year-old Clayton, as well as four other Afghan soldiers. Hilda died while serving her country and is remembered today as a hero to the American people. Number 3. Kim Walls Kim Walls was a freelance journalist from Sweden. She had quite a successful career having articles published in many large outlets such as The Guardian and The New York Times. She had been trying to get in touch with businessman Peter Madsen regarding interviewing him about a submarine that he had personally built. He accepted the interview and invited Walsh to join him for a short two-hour trip on the homemade submarine UC-3 Nautilus, in which she would interview him while on the trip. Unfortunately, Madsen had no intention of granting the interview. Instead, he would take Walls out to sea and stab her 15 times. He then dismembered her body and dumped her remains at sea. This photo is the last picture of Kim Walls before the demented Madsen would take her life and then intentionally sink the submarine. Number 4. Windmill Technicians this photograph captures the last moments of the two young men before they were tragically lose their lives. You can see the 19 and 21 year old men embracing each other in a hug as they accept their fates that day. The turbine caught fire shortly after the two men had ascended to the top. One of the men would jump from the 200 foot tall windmill hoping for a miracle. Unfortunately, there was no miracle for him that day and he would perish. The second man tried to crawl back through the turbine so that he could attempt a descent. He became trapped and ended up burning alive. Number 5. Carl Williams Carl Williams was one of the biggest drug kingpins that Australia had ever seen. He had just recently been sentenced to life in prison for his actions in his large drug network. Rumors began to spread throughout the criminal underworld that Williams had become a snitch. You do not cross the type of men that Williams did business with. This photograph shows the last moments of Williams' life. The man walking behind the sitting Williams had just torn apart an exercise bike. The man had taken a steel tube off the bike and then beat Williams to death with it. Number 6. Buddy Dwyer Buddy Dwyer was a lifelong politician in the state of Pennsylvania. In 1986, 
Dwyer was the Pennsylvania state treasurer. He had just been convicted of corruption charges for his acceptance of a bribe from the winning firm that was bidding on a contract from the state. Dwyer steadfastly denied any wrongdoing and pleaded his innocence. These photographs show the few moments after he had called a press conference and spoke about his innocence on the charges. He pulled a revolver from a bag and proceeded to take his own life. After the press conference, he was to be formally removed from office, but because he had died, the formal process never took place, allowing his family to collect on his pension that otherwise they could not have collected. Number 7. Robert Overacker Robert Overacker was a stuntman who had been to school to learn his craft. He had a passion for the homeless and the hard life that they led. For seven years, Robert had been planning on a dangerous stunt to bring awareness to the homeless. He decided on jet skiing over the Niagara Falls in October of 1995. As he began his trip down the river, he held a sign with reference to the homeless people. His jet ski went over the falls and Robert's parachute did not deploy. He plummeted over 180 feet to his death. This photo captures that split second before he started falling. Number 8. Gabriela Hernandez Gabriela Hernandez was a 22-year-old woman who tragically took her own life. She posted this picture to Facebook shortly after her boyfriend broke up with her, along with the following text. Goodbye to all. I don't have anything now. I don't have anything. Julio, I love you. Never forget it. I'm leaving with a smile because you made me very happy while this lasted. To my family, I ask for your forgiveness. Love, Gabby. If you or anyone you know may be having thoughts of suicide, please contact one of the prevention lines posted on the screen. Number 9. Robert Kennedy Robert Kennedy was part of the American political royal family, the Kennedys. Kennedy was the 64th Attorney General of the United States. He went on to serve several years as Senator to the U.S. Congress representing the state of New York until he was assassinated by Palestinian Sirhan Sirhan on June 6, 1968. Kennedy was the favorite to represent the Democratic Party in the next presidential election. This photograph was captured just moments after he had been shot. Number 10. Man from Nepal The man in this photograph has not been named according to my research. Apparently, he had just recently been laid off from his job and had become extremely depressed. According to reports, he had climbed to the top of a shopping building early in the morning of this photograph. Emergency services from Nepal had been there trying to convince the man to come down for several hours. What happened next is a bit unclear, as some reports say he slipped, while others say that he purposely threw himself off the building. Regardless, it does not matter at this point. As you can tell from the photo, this man did not live. The photo is terrifying as it captures the split second before the man hits the street. If you or anyone you know are having mental health issues, there is no reason to be ashamed. If you are having thoughts of self-harm, please reach out to one of the prevention hotlines. Thank you all for joining us today for this terrifying video. We appreciate you all so very, very much. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit that bell to receive notifications from the channel. Until the next one.